that we have Lauren basically as a backup for everything in Giveth, uh, so nothing falls through the cracks, even testing devouch. So major praise to Lauren. I also want to give huge praise to Roberto, who keeps me on track for everything I do. I don't think most people get to see that how much uh, you know he keeps me organized because I'm just a very chaotic person. So major praise to Roberto for that. And then huge praise to Craddy, who I'm just throwing everything at from all angles, angles uh, from uh, you know devouch contracts to to de liquid democracy for Paralyzed to you know the unicorn wallet uh, infrastructure. So so much going on there, and uh, I don't know how to handle it all. Handle it all. So well, Craddy. So major praise to you. And I'll pass it over to Lauren. Great. Thanks, Griff. Um, yeah, I think I really want to praise Carlos for all the co-working time that we've had here at the Giveth House. It's been like really awesome to hang out and he's been doing some epic work, like getting the Give a Palooza data ready together super, super quick. And also now working on like the Give Back Speed 2 raffle picker and improving it. So that's been awesome. And I also want to praise Mitch for all the great coordination work that he's been doing around managing the decentralized verification release stuff and like just getting everybody to dm him with feedback then he filters it and creates issues and he's just putting so much effort into keeping all that organized and i'm really excited for those changes coming and i will pass it to is carlos in this call i'll pass it to carlos um hey guys uh thank you lauren okay i'd like to praise also lauren for all the co-working we did together and answering any question I have, creating issues, and it's been really productive these past few days. Um, also, I'd like to praise uh, Mateo. He's always helping me out when there is some front-end issue or we need to get something uh, up and ready. And I also like to praise Miriam. I didn't praise her before <laughs> because <laughs> I was on vacation and she really took a lot of work on. So she's an amazing developer. Thank you, Marion. And yeah, those are my top three praises. I'll pass it to uh, Freshel. Thank you, Carlos. I want to praise Shane for being such a great teammate, for being such being such game on the delegated tasks that I'm giving to her, and for being so supportive in all the accounting tasks that we're doing. And I want to praise Griff. For being for being just for our smooth coordination on payments and on treasury management, and also Mitch as well for being on top of my questions and and for being a great DevOps lead. So those are my three praises. I'll pass it to Heather. Hello, GM, GM. All right, I want to praise. Um, Jake for jumping on a BD call with me and giving me some hot tips and 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 leads um, as I have more time on my plate. Um, I want to thank uh, Praise Griff and um, Ahmad for for also being um, supportive and giving me ideas around how how I can spend more of my time. And then I also want to praise Freshelle uh, because she's been doing some really high level accounting stuff that's really interesting. Um, and I would like to pass it over to Miriam. Yeah. Well, I want to praise. Uh... I want to praise almost like I want to start with Gretty for uh, taking on me and involving me on some interesting uh, issues. I want to also uh, praise um, Mohammed for uh, the support while working on uh, some features and also Mitch for uh, his efforts uh, on. Uh, uh, collaborating with the, the all the team members and checking on the issues. Uh, also, yeah. Uh, also, uh, yeah. Um, Ramin for his uh, uh, for taking uh, the remaining similar issues related to UI Gucci as well for uh, his helps uh, when it comes to. Um, Reviewing my PRs, uh, um, 
uh, and uh, providing some uh, feedbacks. Uh, yeah, I can't get to advice everyone, but like that's it for now. Uh, I'll pass it to um, Shane, I guess. I hope I'm pronouncing it. Yeah, thanks. Um, thanks, Miriam. So I just want to say that was the Mitch, Rochelle, Heather, Nicola, and Nico for such a productive that was meeting. Um, all the brainstorming and preparation for the upcoming season was fun and kind of gave us an idea on how the ops would be um, looking like in the upcoming season. And also, big praise to Frischel for always um, being the best buddy and for um, hooking me up in um, new tasks. And I'm learning a lot from her, so yeah, big praise to her. And mm -hmm. I'm going to pass it to Aubrey. GM, everybody. Um, oh my gosh, who am I even going to call right now? This is just not fair. I've been working with a ton of people. Shout out and absolute praise to Liam, who I just feel like I'm in different kind of marketing meetings with him at all times. And he's got to always just like turn off the creative hat of one project, turn it on for another one. Um, shout out to you. Um, shout out for uh, to Mitch. I feel like I've been talking to you a lot more in comms and stuff and for all the debats getting out. Uh, shout out to Lauren and Griff. For and oh my gosh, where are you, Carlos? Oh my gosh, for the givebacks and helping get the picker to where it is today, which also just got updated like a minute ago. And it's just so easy now that I just came and just expressed my gratitude to you. And I'm just so grateful that I get to be on projects with you guys too. So, um, oh, also you, Ashley Wild Wander with the givebacks V2. And I'm so sorry, I came in five minutes late, so I don't know who hasn't been passed to you, but I saw Griff waving. So maybe I'll pass it to Griff. Yeah, let's throw it to Jake over here. Stairwell Jake right here. Uh, cool. So let's go with, this was my first trip to the Giveth House. So I'm going to start with uh, Nicola, Franco, ex Giveter Franco, uh, Griff, Lauren, Lost Dog, Kirsch, all you guys for welcoming to the house. It's been really, really nice. Uh, secondly, I got to praise out to Coffee and, and Griff today for a shilling since I think the last eight hours and we're still on the town hall bringing some fire energy. So let's uh, praise Coffee for keeping us alive. Uh, and let's see, lastly, I got to say Marcelo, Griff and Paulo because we're putting together Retro, PGA, or Retro Funding 6 app right now and, and, and hopefully it will help uh, push Giveth to uh, the rest of the year. So. Let me go ahead and pass it along to Mitch. Mm, damn, I was still filling out everyone's time off on the next slide. So <laughs> um, I'd like to praise um, Kai and Cherik. They worked on this crazy issue that was not letting people donate on maintenance on the app and they worked together and figured it out. So um, praise to them for that. Uh, praise to the Dow Ops people. Uh, Shane, Nico, Frischel, Heather, Nicola, myself, uh, always really great calls and we always get through so much stuff. So praise to them. Um, and my last praise, damn, who's it going to go to? Uh, I'd like to praise, um, Lauren and Allman, uh, mm -hmm. for giving me some great feedback on the infographic and as well as Christina for, uh, putting it together, uh, regarding decentralized verification. I can't tell if Griff's frozen or if my internet's bad, but he's there. He's just smiling. I got to screen cap this. Anyway, I'll pass it on to um, pass it on to Mo Saeed. Hey. Uh, okay. So uh, I want to praise um, basically uh, Ramin and 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 Monique and. Um, um Marija for the sort of work on on the qf uh and and the donation um mm -hmm. integration and and development um it's it's really good uh sorry i i basically praised two person at once and uh um i don't know um i can't actually uh think of anyone else right now i uh, also want to praise um um uh, mitch and um just a second um forest keep keep i don't know uh just uh for working on the 
the, the type form and, and the questionnaire for uh, getting uh, user, I mean, getting information on, 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 on our donors and, and, and users. Um, I think that's enough. Uh, I pass it back to you, Griff. Sorry, I, I don't know who I should pass. Oh no, Griff is frozen. Frozen. Let's see. Then. Did you call oh. my name? Sorry, guys. I did. Your turn. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, sure. Yeah, uh, I certainly would like to praise my dev team, like uh, Amin, Ali. Lovell, Cherry, Ketchy, they all been amazing this time and putting their all effort and the commitment into the work, helping figure out stuff and understanding them thoroughly. And secondly, I certainly want to praise Mo because within the last month he was very so so productive in helping and understanding the product, giving some solutions. They were really helpful in resolving things around. Yeah, and uh, the last one, my last praise I want to give to Lauren. She's been always uh, very open and transparent in providing support of understanding the things inside the give it and the give economy, which obviously will help me also understand and get into the girls concept. Yeah, basically, that's it. Uh, so. I'll be glad to pass over to, I don't know, probably Krati. Thanks, Ben. Uh, I have tons of praises to give as well, because all these people have been helping us move forward. Like, to begin with, DevOps, uh, day and night, uh, they support the pager duty calls, and ad hoc, they support almost everyone uh, in the organization. But particularly Moshe and Kai for, you know, doing the deployments for Pairwise Unicorn QAC releases. I also want to praise Riff for being the guiding light uh, to figure out the relative priorities to foresee possible blockers and to help plan better and also to uh, to to resolve uh, to resolve important uh, feature conflicts because. We have a lot to uh, develop, and then sometimes we don't know uh, what parameters to figure out. Uh, so yeah, uh, I also want to praise Pedro, Ahmed, Jake, Paolo for their efforts in raising funds. Uh, also want to praise all the tech leads, Mohammed, Ramin, Amin, Cherik, uh, Mahdi, because they have been delivering their product releases uh, back to back coordinating with all the team members um, and ensuring that the train is running smoothly uh, want to praise all the product managers monik aslar ben mitch lauren cuz developers qas uh, and also working with marketing and and uh, fundraising team lastly uh, I want to praise all the engineers, uh, Yusuf, Maryam, Ali, Lovell, who have been great individual contributors for their features. Um, and of course, Merjef and Latifid have been amazing QAs. And praise to Heather for uh, maintaining the culture and helping with conflict resolution. Uh, please, praise to because uh, uh, she does a ton of work to ensure that finances are on track. Uh, and I'll pass it on to... Um, I'll pass it on to Actually, Liam. Actually, Claudia, oh man, it's too bad. I'm sorry, Liam. Uh, I want to take it and we, we try to just stop at the 15 minute mark. Uh, it's too bad because there's always so much praise uh, to pass around, but we we gotta get through the we gotta get through all the content for the town hall. So, uh, sorry, Liam. Next round, next round. Um, but uh, this was praise for people who haven't been here before. Uh, that praise is not just a, a great way to do decentralized updates, but if you put it in Discord. 
card, it turns into real give tokens thanks to the DAO Ops working group. So uh, definitely consider turning your praise, make your praise real uh, in Discord. And also now praise is even integrated into uh, Warpcast. So if you want the whole world to see your praise, you could praise in Discord, copy paste, and POTUS post it in Warpcast and praise them there. The big difference with Warpcast is that it's at give praise instead of backslash praise. And uh, you can only praise one person at a time. So uh, that's the only tricks. Other than wise, it's just mm -hmm. at give praise to whatever their Warpcast handle is. Uh, for whatever you want to say. So, yes, that's it. Uh, and it's okay. We can uh, just go into the monthly town hall slides. Oh, look, Lauren's doing it. She's she's unstoppable. She's a pra the praise queen. Um, okay, so yes, monthly town hall. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, there's a praise giveaway going on, and I don't know, Hazlar, are, are you are you there? Do you want to tell us what this praise giveaway is about? Oh yes, the the, the uh, first thousand uh, praise givers on Forecaster are gonna get a glow dollar, so that they can use it to contribute to other projects. Hopefully, in the future, there's also giveaways of like twenty dollars for uh, the, any kind of content that you are creating on Forecaster. So uh, yeah, we're we're pushing so hard on Forecaster, and uh, yeah, the the other big difference is that you are minting an attestation on chain on behalf of yourself for the person that you're giving the praise to and it's super easy it's just click of a button and then you have your uh, wallet opening up you sign one transaction and done you're, you're minting an attestation for that person thank you Griff, for the shout out and like yeah Lauren thank you for the explanation it's, just, it's super easy yeah, and praise to Lauren for sharing screen and uh, and taking on the, the focused effort that it is to uh, be basically the VJ of of the of the of the town hall. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, so yes, and then update from QAC. Uh, we are about to pick all teams for the next QAC round. This is it's very exciting. We have so much going on. Um, if you haven't been following along, like. We are, Giveth is managing this program. You can go to qact.giveth.io. We're gonna have uh, uh, some epic projects. Uh, I can't wait. There's like such a range of projects that are launching their token through the software that is being launched through the Giveth, uh, on, through the Giveth website. So it's a pretty epic thing for us. And it's also the, you know, foundational technology that we will use to launch Gurves. So, uh, you know, there are there's an L2 called Prismo that's going to launch. It's actually a Filipino project. And we got lots of uh, Filipina Filipinos in our calls so, all the time. So major shout out to Prismo, who's going to actually launch the gas token for their chain with QAC. There's also a 20-year-old open source, like, Star Wars version of a game uh, that's actually, like, called Hollow Chest that's going to launch. There's, there's, uh, there's another, like, it's like a, a game, a racing game, where, but it's also like a day trading app uh, that's, that's going to launch. And then, we, and then there's a, an AI DAO platform. And all these projects are going to launch their tokens uh, through the Give It to website. So this is pretty epic for us. I don't think we talk about it enough in in uh, in our circles. So a uh, major praise to Ben and the, and Amin and Cherik and Ali and the whole crew uh, that are, are working on. I know there's more people than that that are uh, putting their heads together to make this all work. So major and Tam and Justice and just like uh, it's it's quite an epic undertaking and we're almost there. So uh, definitely get excited about QAC guys because it is our path to Gervs. And the last announcement, I think, is DevCon. Uh, many of us are going to DevCon and Edge City in Chiang Mai. Uh, so can't wait to see you all in Thailand. If you are going, make sure to coordinate with Algene and Heather and the crew, because uh, that way we can uh, make sure that we're all staying at the same hotels in Bangkok and talking to each other so we can coordinate that we're all hanging out in Chiang Mai and know each other's dates. And, you know, it's so nice that we all get to see each other in person. It just takes a little bit of uh, upfront coordination to maximize our time together. So um, definitely connect with Heather and Frischel and Algene if, if you guys are going to Thailand.
Okay, so yeah, there it is. There's the form. I couldn't find the link to the form while I was sitting on these stairs in this random hallway. So uh, thank you for finding that form, and uh, and I hope you can post it in the chat. Thank you, Lauren. You're on top, so on top of it. Okay, and and praise to Mitch for putting the time off here. So Ashley is taking the early October off. Lauren is and and Griff. Oh wow, we're both taking the time off on the third and tenth through the nineteenth. So early October. Um, Muhammad's going to take some time off in early October. The random days. Ali Reza is off at the end of the week, or sorry, at the end of next, uh, uh, early next week. And uh, Nico is off today, so leave these people alone. Oh, and Frischel's jumping in. Frischel's off uh, uh, at the end of the month in October. Uh, that's cool. And, and of course, there will also be lots of people uh, next month that are going to be at DevCon and Edge City. So uh, forgive. we're probably also going to have a lot of calls change because there's a lot of people leaving the American time zones and jumping over to Asia time zones. So uh, congratulations to Frischel and Algeen and, and all the and all the people, Cheyenne and uh, all the people, Stee, that have been like suffering through late night calls and early morning calls to coordinate with us. Finally, we enter your territory and it's uh, everyone else will have to bend to your wills and your time zone. Uh, congratulations to all of you guys. Uh, also, if you, uh, on more of a serious note, uh, if you see any kind of conflict out there in, in our beautiful, lovely space, it's okay, it's natural, but you know what's great is we have this gravity support request form so that we can make sure the conflict gets resolved as soon as possible. So if you see people that are kind of like, like getting a little weird with each other, you know, and fill it out, fill out a gravity support request. Uh, you know, if you're feeling awkward with someone, one and you want some support uh it's it's always better to to just take charge and address it then also for feedback forms we have like a 360 degree feedback pattern uh it's not just for buddy review calls you can do it anytime there's this contributor review form and leadership review forms that you can use to uh to actually you know give people feedback good or bad about how they can improve and then their buddies will deliver it and with that, uh, we can pass it over to Mitch in the DAP working group. Tell us what's going on over there. Thanks, Griff. Uh, so yeah, some stuff uh, definitely worth checking out on the DAP uh, since last month is we finished the Stellar donation integration. Uh, so you can get a Stellar wallet. Uh, I'm using Lobster wallet. And you can try out making donations using XLM on the Stellar network. Uh, you can go, you can filter by the projects that are already accepting funds on Stellar, and you can try out the flow. Uh, I know Monik led this project mostly. I'm not sure of the developers that made it happen. Oh, I know Miriam definitely worked a lot on this, but it's got this cool like QR code flow. So like you scan it from your mobile and then you like send the donation from your mobile wallet and then our app magically detects it somehow and then you know adds it in as like a regular donation so it's pretty cool um and i mean props to them it's like pretty slick the whole like desktop to mobile experience uh so definitely worth checking it out and try making some donations and back we are on devouch uh if you want to go and check out some projects on devouch and vouch for the ones that you trust and know are legitimate, uh, you can start doing so now. We're going to be merging this new feature for decentralized verification very soon, uh, very soon, maybe today, probably not today at this point, but yeah, early next week, I'm hoping. And so you'll be able to vouch for those projects. Um, if you're a Giveth verifier, those will have some very interesting benefits on the platform as well. And we'll get into that probably a little bit outside of this call. Uh, town hall slides. Thank you. Uh, 2024 donor survey. This is a quick 30 second survey uh, that we are handing out to our donors, uh, letting us know who they are, like a little bit about their profile, um, how their experience has been making a donation on Giveth. Uh, a little bit about like the recurring donation experience that we spent uh, a long time working on. Um, why do they enjoy donating, etc. So 
Um, if you know any donors, you know, if, or maybe if you, you are a donor and you're in this call, I would definitely, <laughs> Lauren, I work here. I would definitely consider filling out this form and I can probably, somebody can probably help me drop a link to it here. Um, last point on the thing, we had a convo with Lana from Glow Dollar. And that was actually a super interesting conversation. Like we talked a little bit about Glow Dollar, but then kind of went all over the place with like the current meta in crypto. And it was a really like one of my favorite give talks, I think, actually. So that's up on Spotify. And uh, you guys can give it a listen while you're going through your work day today. Um, we have some calls. We have developer daily standups that happen uh, Mondays at 8.15. Uh, Tuesdays at, at 8, Wednesdays at 8, and uh, Thursdays at 7.30 uh, Mexico time. We also have a comms call that happens 10 a.m. Mexico and community calls that happen 11 a.m. on Wednesdays. Um, next slide, please. What happened so far? Uh, well, we added support for Coinbase and Trust Wallet on mobile and desktop. We launched a Stellar integration. Uh, we launched the RetroFunding 5 version of DVouch. Uh, so having all those projects from RetroFunding 5 up there, able to be vouched on. Um, we made progress on releasing Decentralized Verification Lite. So that's the first version, uh, allow allowing you know, give it verifiers to go in and, and vouch for projects and make projects eligible to forgive power. Um, so again, that's looking like early next week at this point. It's a little bit late in the day in in the Middle East, so I don't think it's going to happen today. Um, Ambassador program launch. I'm sure Ian's going to have a lot to talk about that. Um, and that's supposed to be happening today, the sign-up form. And there was one more thing on there, Lauren. One more thing. Yeah, thanks. Uh, also, Ian's been experimenting with doing some NFTs on Zora and Farcaster. We've had 37 unique minters, all of that generating a little bit of revenue for the DAO. So pretty cool, pretty low effort, pretty fun engaging people in Farcaster in a new way. Um, what could have gone better? Uh, competing product priorities left a lot of, well, not a lot, but a few development issues unfinished, uh, which is always frustrating. Uh, performance issues on the app, missing donations happening. Uh, luckily, we got them all, but it's still, you know, still things are kind of happening around that. Um, in the last month, uh, Nicholas, Nicolas and Raphael have left the team, uh, just letting everyone know. Recurring donations aren't getting much use, and we had to delay the Ambassador program launch uh, just by a week. Some stats, I'll burn through this, I'm sorry. Uh, from July 5th until now, season four, $108,000 worth of donations. Of that, 101000 went to verified projects. Recurring donations, a shy $500, $525 made with recurring donations. And newly verified projects, 74. 74 is actually pretty awesome. So that's a pretty great number. Uh, we're going to be closing out this season in about four or five days. So that's it there. Um, what's coming up next? We're going to be launching decentralized verification. As I mentioned, the ambassador program, season three. A 74 question mark. Yeah, 74 newly verified projects since July 5th. Well, and the and the five thousand three hundred that we brought in from endowment. You're right, Griff. You're right. So I guess like five thousand, five thousand three hundred. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. Anyway. So the ambassador program season three. Uh. Again, coming up today. Uh. Ian Forest Keeper is also going to be leading some community game nights, and I think maybe you can jump in here, Forest. You're going to be doing that tonight, is that right? Yeah, it's it will be happening at five uh, p.m. Uh, Mexico time. We're going to be playing some browser games, have some announcements, and just have a great time. So I invite every one of you to just hang out and 
to board and see what happens. It's going to be fun. Hey, that's awesome. And then you're going to have the sign up form for the ambassador program released today during that time there. like the today. the alpha and we're going to be taking applications for at least two two to three weeks awesome cool there you go there you go gaming night happening tonight i mean it's going to be late night for for lauren but i know she'll be there right <laughs> um anyway we got a twitter space with stellar happening next friday on october 4th and we're going to be putting up the draft for the DAP Season 5 Working Group Proposal before this next monthly town hall. It will be there on the forum. Um, and I found this really cool Dilbert comic. Everyone can just... Uh, it's, I found a Dilbert-related crypto comic, which blew my mind away. It says, I tried to withdraw funds from Dogwork Crypto Exchange, but I checked my balance and it shows zero. Is that kind of some kind of a mistake? And then the dog, the support dog says, yes, you should never check your balance at the Dogwork Crypto Exchange. Oof. They nailed us. They, they pinned us right there, man. That hurts, but... <laughs> yeah, cool. I'll pass it to Give Economy. Thanks, man. Um, cool. Give Economy Working Group, how are things going? Well, Give is hasn't been doing as well as ETH this month, but and generally it's been kind of a down cycle. So we're not doing so bad. Actually, last month we were down 20%. This month we're only down 8%. Not so bad. Um, CTA and comms things that are happening here. Uh, we've got our next Give Back V2 space coming up. So please set your reminders to join that. It'll be the second time announcing the five winning donations um, into our second experiment of the Give Backs raffle. And also, we've got an exciting post coming up today um, from Bellic, which is one of the KOLs that we're working with that's going to be posting about Giveth. He's already like created a couple of great posts about Giveth so far, but stay tuned for that. It's coming out in like five hours. So just like keep an eye on Twitter. And I think Griff's going to mass DM it to everybody. It'd be great to give it a boost because it's a really nice tweet talking about Gervs and the long term roadmap of Giveth. Um, great. Cool. So, what has happened in September? Yeah, what went well last month? So we integrated, we did a bunch of things actually. Like the vote passed for implementing a minimum $5 on donations for them being eligible for givebacks. We started the experiment of the raffle and also the vote passed on creating a claim window for a give that was just not being claimed after a really long time. Give from givebacks being distributed that's not being claimed for a long time. So all those vote passed votes passed and we've then put out the comms around it and we've made some changes onto the dApps. I highlighted like a few different changes that are happening here. Now in like these toast messages on the projects, it'll be emphasizing to donate five dollars. This is a very blurry GIF, but we have this like fun uh, little thing when you're donating that it's like, hey, if you donate five dollars, you're eligible for givebacks. And then once you get to five dollars in the givebacks eligible token, it's like you're cool. So encouraging people to donate more to projects if they can. And, you know, that enters them for givebacks eligibility. Um, the raffle experiment, part one of three successfully completed. I just posted this yesterday, which is like a nice summary of how it went and some observations and um, basically like what were the odds that each of these winning donations would have won? Like how many raffle entries did they have? And like what percentage of the total was that? Um, and, you know, just like made some comments in here. So it, it's pretty, it's been pretty cool and exciting kind of running this Givebacks V2 raffle. I'm excited to see how the next one goes. And after the first two experiments, we're going to be putting out a feedback form to start grabbing people's opinions. Um, as you may know, we're going to be running this raffle three times so after two we'll start like collecting opinions we'll do like one more we'll have a little governance process and a vote but um we've got like a bunch of resources that are out around this there's the the blog which explains all the big changes that are happening with the with givebacks um i see luminaire asking in the chat what we're using to pick a winner we're using a google api effectively it, we basically take all the donations um and with their proportional weight where the weight is dependent on the size of the donation and the give backs percentage of the project that determines the number of raffle entries. And then it's basically just like 
randomly picks them considering like their weight in the raffle. So it's almost, it's like as if, you know, each donation had a certain number of raffle entries associated with it. It's ran, they're randomly chosen. Um, and we posted the video explaining um, how the picker works and how it was done and showing the results from the first round. So if you check out the forum post, which I didn't yet link in there, but I can just link it right now. If you check out the forum post in the comment, I kind of like ramble on about like how this worked and all my opinions about it. So um, yeah, super happy for more feedback and comments in the forum. Um, yeah. Also, hey guys, I mean, I know this feels like it was a while ago for, for me and some of us, but Polygon ZKVM launched this month. That wasn't that long ago. We were like, oh my God, let's launch Polygon ZKVM, give economy integration. And we did. We did it super fast, like major praise to Muhammad and Mitch and Amin who are working really hard to make all of that happen. Um, but yeah, we've got the um, give economy on Polygon ZKVM still here live and actually the aprs are a little bit higher like if i sign out they're still a little bit higher than they are on the other chains not by a lot but by a little which is kind of fun um cool so yeah now you can stake your gift tokens on polygon zkvm and they count towards your total gift power which allows you to boost projects allows you to vote on proposals and governance it's a whole thing um and i'm really excited that that launch has gone through and gone out um also we've been really activating we've been doing our activations on this we've been working with this marketing agency to be putting uh, uh we've been putting you know together like campaigns for for driving more adoption for the gift token and explaining to people what is GURBS and why it matters and when it's coming um so now we're activating some kols around it we've been working with Bella Cruz and Crypto Gideon. And uh, I, I really like the content that Bella has been putting out about Giveth. It's kind of like stuff that like you would see kind of from our own account, but it's really interesting to sort of see his take on it. So this is an interesting dabbling in the world of paid marketing that we're, we're experimenting with and kind of like seeing the results of. So um, in the next Working Group proposal, I'm going to be working on a little bit of analysis to see how well this marketing has been affecting the, the token economy um, and more. So stay tuned for that. Um, we also, in the last month, did a Give Essentials. Uh, there was the, the link here. There's the link here to the presentation and to the video recording of the, the Give Essentials. Um, but it also does have the Give Essentials that we ran. In this call, basically, we did like a run through of Give Backs V2, as well as the changes around the minimum donation amount, a lot of things I'm talking about here. Plus, we talked about Devout and decentralized verification. So that was a big like kind of like onboarding opportunity for our community um, that went super well. Um, and excitingly, also going well last month, we've got this uh, Give Token Distro audit that William has been working really, really hard on. We're basically, we're like, oh, Hey, this is what we set out to do with all of our give. Like, where is all of that give now? And like, how much is left in each bucket? And blah blah blah. So all this like really fun give economy accounting has is is happening and um, is nearing completion. Um, what could have gone better? Oh wow, there's these really crazy bugs on uh, optimism give power that are happening that we're we're working on solving right now. And also we've we're we've been running these raffles, but since it's a very new thing, we're a little bit like kind of trying to figure out the best, most effective and efficient way of organizing so we get all the comms out and people know what's going on and all the steps are explained clearly. So creating a process for that is something we're working on in the future. Um, what's coming up in October? Give Backs V2 Experiment Parts 2 and 3. Actually, right now, there's a Give Backs round happening. Um, and if you donate right now, $5 or more, you could be entered to, to in that lottery. And then if you, you know, join that Twitter space, which is happening in like less than a week, you might find out that you're a winner. So, um, oh, you know, I actually wanted to mention this on the other slide. This, I think, is really cool. So you might know this on the, the Give Backs page. Well, I don't know why I made that bigger and it just disappeared page um there's this number here it's like give max rewards for the round it says like one million and actually it's always said one million because there's always been one million give for the round but now this number is actually dynamic and it shows how much give is in the give backs pool based on how much has been donated in that give backs round so far so this is super exciting and cool for the raffle if you just go to the give backs page you can actually see like what is the total prize pool because we're only going to be giving out what is the total prize pool and the prize pool depends on the amount of donations so there's this 
just like cool feature that Muhammad worked on and implemented that now this number is actually dynamic. So when the round starts completely fresh, this number will actually be zero. And then when the first donations roll in, the amount of data going into the give backs pool goes up and up and up, up to a maximum of one million give tokens. So fun facts. Cool. Okay. Sorry. I was here. Um, the dappening continues. Um, yeah, so give back V2 experiments part two and three, season five working group proposal, you know that's coming. Um, give power on vouch projects. Mitch already mentioned this, but with the you know devouch integration that's happening on Giveth, soon you'll be able to boost projects that aren't reviewed by our team internally. So they're not going to be necessarily give backs eligible, but you can still boost them. And this will have awesome, incredible impacts on QBF rounds where both vouched and non-vouched projects are allowed to be part of it. They can still be sorted by the community and curated uh, with give power. So really excited about that. Um, we're going to be claiming back those give tokens that haven't been claimed for a while based on that vote. We're going to be updating our Dune dashboard with Polygon ZKVM and GERS! Curves is coming soon. It's actually going to be a big focal point of our next working group proposal. Um, the spec for Curves and how how it, we're going to implement and what it's going to look like. And I made this meme because this is just how I feel. Just, you know, just saying. I mean, I've been following the forum comments about GiveBacks V2. I don't know why I make the picture bigger and it disappears, but... Um, well, who knows? I made the picture bigger, disappeared. Doesn't matter. It was a funny meme. If you see it, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Wow, that's so weird, right? Okay. Well, anyway, I'll pass it over to DAOOPS. I feel like I need to like refresh my page. Let me just refresh this, but it, it is Mitch's turn. Sure, yeah, um, DAOOPS. So uh, some CTAs, not a lot, but um, oh, uh, round 43 of Praise Awards has been sent. That was the big kahuna mm -hmm. of like, I think it was three months combined. So you can check your give stream for those. Uh, round 44 praise rewards are up for you review in the forum. Uh, those will probably go out sometime early next week. And round 45 for August is ongoing. Um, a bunch of people here in the audience have been drafted as quantifiers. So the sooner that you go in and quantify that praise, the sooner everyone's going to get those sweet praise rewards. And praise to Shane for doing all of this work. Appreciate her. Um, DevCon planning. There is a TG group. If you are a Giveth contributor and you're coming to DevCon, you should definitely start paying attention to that Telegram group if you haven't. There's tickets being given away. There's accommodations that need to be booked. There's tons of things happening. And, um, you know, uh, please, 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 if you want to stay with us, if you're looking for some ticket help or anything, keep up in that TG group. Uh, time reports, again, for Giveth contributors. Uh, in Clockify, please have your time reports finished by. Okay, this doesn't make sense, guys. It's got to be the first of, the first of October because September thirtieth is still September. Um, so please have those done by October first. The sooner everyone finishes their Clockify reports, the sooner we can get everyone paid. So there you go. There's your incentive. Um, Governance calls, we have them uh, every other Monday at 9 a.m. Uh, I think we had one on the 16th. So the next one will be September 30th. We also have stewards calls every other week. Uh, that was uh, on Monday that we had it, same time. And the next one will be on the 7th of October. We have DAOPS calls with our little working group. Uh, Thursdays, the hour before this town hall. Uh, every other one. So we just had one today. And the next one will be on the 10th of October. Uh, what did we do? Next slide. Uh, we got a credit card. Woohoo! We got a credit card from Rain, which actually came out of the Glow Dollar Give Talk. Uh, Lana mentioned it. I checked it out. I applied. We got us a credit card. Uh, so pretty sweet connection there. Um, we updated the self-review form questions to give more feedback to give it as an organization that DAOPS can use to give us a better uh, health report. Uh, leadership review one-on-ones happened. Uh, leaders posted their action steps. Uh, so the bulk of that leadership review process is over. And uh, Heather, Nima, and Nicola are still you know, doing a retrospective and seeing how we can make this process better in the future. What could have gone better? 
uh, our Swiss entity is still missing members. There's a bunch, like a backlog of people that we want to add to our, our legal entity. Lauren's doing something crazy with their mouse in another tab. But uh, this is our last month of paying our own bills for now. Um, so do what you will with that information. Our treasury is looking pretty low. So yeah, Griff's going to be jumping in, I think, the month after this one and making sure we can continue our work and make sure everyone can get paid. So praise Griff for keeping Giveth alive. I can't stress that enough. Um, what's coming up next? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's coming up next? We have a DAOOP Season 5 proposal that'll be up before uh, this next town hall. Ongoing quantification, I mentioned. Uh, DevCon. DevCon, I think we'll have another town hall before DevCon, but we're going to be looking forward to that. So worth the mention on two town halls. And lastly, from our last call, make Giveth fun again. Uh, that's what we decided is going to be our primary focus based on everyone's feedback to Giveth as an organization. What can DAOOPs do? Uh, I think is just help the vibes and make it fun and improve our company culture uh, within Giveth and, and GM. So MGFA. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it on to uh, fundraising. Nice. Thanks from the depths of EBC here in Barcelona in the basement of the stairwell. Here we are for fundraising working groups. Some CTAs for us. Big one that will hopefully keep the lights on and take some of that funding and uh, give tokens away from Griff will be OP Retro Funding 6. Uh, we're going to focus and take the angle of devouch uh, by Giveth. Uh, they pushed actually the application date to Tuesday. Jonas and the squad over there needs a little bit more time to get it together. So we'll start applying uh, between October 1st, October 10th. And the big date will be November, hopefully there right after DevCon, we'll get some good news. Uh, the Always Sunny in Web3 Awards, we did submit for that. They're giving away a lot of OP tokens. We'll find out mid-October, so stay tuned with that. Lauren, not much to do. I haven't hy hyperlinked anything, so take a little bit of break from uh, uh, sc scrambling around. Uh, KOL Giveth, or uh, as Griff has been calling it, the ethical KOL Giveth here while we show the last couple days. If anybody can come up with a better name than that, uh, praise to you, and maybe Griff will give you some of those gift tokens. Uh, we're continuing with marketing agencies, and we're actually here at EBC pitching uh, with some pretty good feedback so far uh, from blockchain. Uh, lastly, we have a call on Monday with Stellar. So hopefully we'll be announcing uh, some more news about maybe a future QF round with Stellar in October. Uh, and that's really the comms and CTAs uh, right now with the working group. What happened since we last spoke? We had a really good Gitcoin grants round. We actually applied to four separate rounds and through that we received over 16,000 uh, USD. Uh, in those rounds, well done. Uh, it's a good return uh, on investment since there wasn't a whole bunch of man hours put into that. Uh, as we just finish up here, they give a Palooza round. We had five sponsors in that uh, that came from the fundraising working group. And we had a pretty heavy grant application period here over the last couple of weeks where we saw the Sunny Awards, Tezos, Tron, Fuel, Starknet, Casper, VeChain. Uh, hopefully some good news coming from those uh, applications. And then, as mentioned kind of previously with QAC, the first projects have been announced um, and looking forward to hearing more on our path to GURBS with QAC. And as mentioned a couple times now, Griff and I are actually shilling really hard, long days, 12-hour days uh, here in Barcelona, trying to spread the KOL word. Uh, what could have gone better? Of course, uh, we can always win more grants, uh, have more QF rounds, uh, and not rely on, on going back to get, uh, Griff. Uh, we could, of course, love to see that matching pool a little bit higher. We've had some higher ones in the past. Uh, and that falls on our shoulders. Uh, let's improve on that in the future. Uh, we applied to Metapool Grants uh, 8, and we almost made it. So that's a good and a bad. It would have been nice to make it this round, but the good news is when we apply the next round, we're almost a sure in to win some funding back from the next Metapool Grant because of the, the way we uh, did in, in Metapool 8. And then 
uh, I guess this falls on me. I'll fall on the sh sword. Uh, we should have at least applied to uh, the Octon QF round and let them shut us down instead of expecting potentially a shutdown uh, based off of our past experiences. Uh, so moving forward, lesson learned. Let's uh, just apply and let them tell us now. What's coming up in October? Uh, again, retro funding six. Uh, we'll find out if we make it into it. And then in November, we'll see uh, what type of rewards. Um, as probably Kieran or if Lauren's handling the QF this uh, time, uh, we really want to get that um, ethical KOL, give it flyer, or one pager, um, shirt up and, and uh, be able to distribute that a little bit easier and follow up after we have these great IRL meetings. Um, we have some really good uh, feedback right now. Uh, not so, I guess that's a typo with L2. It's uh, encompassing Litecoin, Fuel, and StarkNet. We actually have some one-on-ones uh, and some positive feedback. Let's hope those uh, lead to some wins. And then, of course, we always have some grants in the works. A couple highlighted is Polkadot, ICP. Uh, Kyoto always seems to be uh, uh, pending for us. They keep pushing their token back. That's the reason it is pending. Uh, it, it, once the token does go live, if we like what's going on, then we'll, we'll probably proceed. So the ball is kind of in our court as well as a little bit in their court to get that token out. Uh, as mentioned, the Sunny Awards, we'll see the results here, I think, in the middle of October on the 18th. Um, we're going to be taking on QF fundraising full on, so we're not going to split that between the groups anymore. Uh, Griff and I and, and anybody else that wants to get involved will be going after those QF uh, forcers. And then, as mentioned by all the working groups, we'll be writing up our working group proposal. And based on uh, Mitch's calendar, we have to have that in in the next 10 days. So I better get going on that. Uh, that's it for fundraising. I'll pass it to whoever's taking QF. Cool. QF. Um, we are closing out some rounds. I think there are a couple project owners in the audience, but not too many. But if you know any Arbitrum projects who are still waiting on their funds and got a bunch of money from Arbitrum, we're still blocked on KYC basically to get those funds out. So I'm once again asking for you to submit for KYC. And the Give a Palooza round just ended on Tuesday. Um, some exciting information on the give a palooza round actually it raised a lot of donations you can we have this qf archive page so anytime a round ends you could just go and see how it performed like right after so the matching pool was twenty five thousand usd glow twenty five thousand dollars and we raised an additional twenty five thousand four hundred and twenty seven dollars two thousand and eleven donations so it was a super successful round with these like hundred projects or so in them and this morning i went and counted how many giver nfts were minted um for project nominations 26 giver nfts were mentioned were minted uh for associated with this round as well so that does wonders as well for keeping give us a float major major um and also what went super well is we got the stellar qf integration up just in time i want to praise moni cuge for managing that as well as everybody who's working on it like mo and critic and mariam and mary jaff and just like testing testing qf and we got stellar up just in time so that we could prove like show the proof of concept that like, yeah, you can actually donate on Stellar and also be eligible for QF donations. So we've got like maybe 10 or 15 donations that were on Stellar that actually count towards the matching for this round. Um, but yeah, overall, Give a Palooza had a great response from projects and donors. There was great turnout in the Twitter spaces, great turnout in the donation numbers, great turnout in the project participation. And it was just like, awesome um so that went super well uh, i got all the stats over here at the side also just mentioned them before and um, we also got the give arb stats which we talked about last month as well um we what also went well we sent out bounties to the projects that added an arbitrum address um and we sent out some or arbitrum sent out some of the matching funds for the give arb round um i'm gonna just mention that this part of what could have gone better is that give arb round has just like lots of administrative overhead before actually getting out those funds you know from kyc and then track and then between multiple different teams. So it takes a lot longer to get the funds that are actually into actually into the hands of the projects. Um, but what else went well? Admin JS improvements. Carlos worked on making his life and our lives easier by making it possible to upload um, all of the donation data that like happens after the round, like the matching funds that each project gets and the transaction links and do that all in admin bro so that we don't have to book him. And that's just going to make running QF rounds easier and better. Um, and, uh, and Jake mentioned, 
So, you know, we, we've so far been getting great response from agencies and people we're talking to about, you know, our ethical QL, KOL thing. If you don't know what that is, I mean, we've, we've already been talking about it, but basically, why would you pay a KOL like $1,000 just to write a tweet and a post when you could pay a thousand dollars that goes into a matching pool that goes into to public goods projects on giveth and giveth which is kind of an epic kol will make a tweet and a post what do you think isn't that cool wouldn't that be better wouldn't it just be better to have all of that that money that instead of going into just like you know the pockets of the content creators it's actually going to public goods projects all facilitated through give us so it's kind of a way that we are working on um, raising more funds for the matching pool raising more funds for for projects on our platform um and uh yeah doing it all like with marketing agencies and by partnering with other organizations who want to get their messages out there better so um yeah that that's uh that's been going well so far and still part of it coming soon with that doc jake mentioned um what could have also gone better we did miss some donations during the give a palooza round it's always scary when we're like oh no somebody donated it didn't get recorded on the dap and then like but fortunately we were able we were able to find them and add them all but it's just scary when that happens so that definitely could have gone better and then also there's still a little bit of feedback around the estimated matching numbers not being exactly what people predicted because the estimated matching is being calculated with regular QF, but now we're running QF with COCM. So the numbers are a little bit different, but we're working on that. So just still getting feedback from users there, but Carlos is hard at work on it. So that's uh, coming soon here, you know, updated K estimated matching. Um, other updates, uh, you know, season five working group proposal is coming soon, but expect a bit of a scale down. Um, we're not going to have as many resources on the QF team coming up soon. And with QAC launching and coming right around the corner, um, we might be, will be most likely doing less rounds. So stay tuned for that working group proposal. Um, and then I already mentioned the other things, documentation for ethical KOLs and uh, estimated matching. Oh my God. I'm glad I'm last because I was totally not paying attention to time, but I, I'm last. So that's the end. Phew! Buddy review calls are coming uh, up. I don't know if these are accurate, but <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't have any time for Q and A. But it, well, unless anyone has a quick one, I think we just ended one minute early. Uh, thank you all for coming, and uh, we'll see you all next month. Another great month in the books. Well done, give a team. Sir, well class. Sir, well done. <laughs>